you're reading the story in Exodus for the first time, it's getting a bit comical at this point. Moses tells Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh tells Moses, no. God sends a plague. Pharaoh says, okay, okay, if you take away the plague. Then God takes away the plague, and Pharaoh says, J-K-L-O-L. In this chapter alone, it happens three times back to back. And while it may appear that God's reacting to Pharaoh's bizarre behavior each time, that's not the case at all. You could even say that while Pharaoh is playing checkers, God has been playing chess. And here's what I mean. In the next chapter, and in Romans 9, Scripture tells us that God set this whole thing up. See, God chose and raised Pharaoh up to this position for this very moment. Now think about what that really means. If this is Ramses II, as historians believe, then God would have also raised up Ramses I before that, the Pharaoh before that, and on and on. This Pharaoh was chosen to be in that position at that time because God knew his heart, and God wanted this exchange to happen to show the world his power and the powerful love he has for his people. So what does that mean for us today? As we watch things play out on a global stage with world leaders, though it seems like evil may be winning at times, God is still on the throne, and he has already set things up to show the world that he is the one true God. Listen to Romans 9:17. For the scripture says that God told Pharaoh, I have appointed you for the very purpose of displaying my power in you and to spread my fame throughout the earth.